Right, van's all packed, heading for Wales, southbound, here we come. First things first, pick up some shopping. Alright, so I've just got to the park up now. I'll show you around more in the morning because it's just short at 10 o'clock at night now and I'm absolutely whacked. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's see you, mate. Right, morning guys. Currently parked at Flint Castle on an off-grid location. But to get in here, there is a height barrier which is 2.1 metres and there's a low bridge coming from the main road and getting in. But if you follow the industrial estate signs that will pull you down to the main road which is just your air outside <laughs> oh no it's just outside <clears throat> and then you'll be able to turn around down the bottom so first things first i'm gonna have a walk around the castle while we're here it's literally there <laughs> been a flint castle car park who'd have thought I'm a wizard. There's me van. It's good down here. You've got the sides out as well. Wonder if they could do any foraging on there. So the walk is a dog friendly walk around castle grounds but you'll have to keep it on these because I'm sure there's animals around Nice new staircase, but I'm feeling dizzy. <gasps> it's proper spirally. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> I hate things like this, me. Right, that's Flint Castle done then. Nice morning stretch of the legs. It's free, so we can't grumble. Fortunately, there's not much left of it. It opened up about 8 o'clock this morning, it was wandering around, started to open the gate. I don't know what time it shut. And just in case anybody needs to know, there's nothing here. There's no shop, toilets or anything like that. The closest ones will be down in Flint. And I'm almost sure there's a McDonald's there. Right, now I've had a look around Flint Castle. I've woke up a little bit. Woo! It's time to get that sausage sandwich on. Got some good old butcher's sausages here as well. And then get the kettle on and get a brew. Are you gagging for a coffee? Right, that's Flint Castle done. Now I'm heading to Erdig Hall, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I do apologise, my Welsh isn't the best, obviously. My English isn't the best. Oh no! So the hall is approximately 45 minutes drive south from here. Just to see you on the way there, guys. Just rocked up then to Erdig Castle. On the way in, we've got a bit of a narrower road from the main road. But it's nothing drastic. Just got to watch it when you're coming in with a motorhome. But Motorhome and coaches are straight on, but just watch the height as well. It's it's 2.4 meters high, and the car parking bays are quite narrow. But a long wheelbase, you should be okay. Anything bigger than that, I'd go into the motorhome stay. <laughs>
at the van. The hall is open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Last entries, three o'clock on an afternoon. The gardens are lovely and it's, it's, they're not even in flower yet. It's definitely worth a wander around. It's a National Trust site. Um, they've really looked after it, really brought it back up over four years worth of renovation. So next place, I'm gonna to go to check Castle and then onto the campsite. So I shall see you guys on the way to check Castle after me brew. Right, check Castle now. That was approximately 20 minutes drive from Erdwig Hall and Gardens and I'm about 45 minutes away from the campsite. Park Pet Way Brin. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce it. So let's go have a look around here, see what Czech Castle's like. Check castle done then. Time to pop onto the campsite. I'll show you at the campsite then in a bit. Alright, so I just rocked up at the campsite. Time to find out where we check in. Don't worry, there will be a campsite tour coming later on. I'll see you guys in a bit. Finally pitched up, hopefully you can hear me okay because it is howling with the wind. Every time I put a peg in, a peg come out. <laughs> it's typical isn't it? I even obviously had the pegs on the 45 degree angle. So as it's blowing, it's grabbing up the wind. It's grabbing the soil, not the wind. Oh no. So looking forward to getting the fire going. I think it's gonna blow away quite quickly like but we'll give it a go. Got me old Roby on keeping me warm. And I'm gonna have a wander around in a minute and get the campsite tour done. So talking of the campsite tour, here she is. Park Pen Your Brian Caravan and Glamping Campsite Tour check in is from 1 p.m. to 22.30. Check out by 12 p.m. You get a text message with an allocation of your pitch. There is electric hookup, which is short cabled, showers and toilets, which I found clean and tidy. You're allowed campfires and barbecues. You even get a free fire pit if required. Please dispose of the hot ashes correctly there are logs and kindling for sale 10 pound for the logs four pound for kindling and fire starters this can be paid by honesty box or paypal there is hard standing pitches which is 22 pounds for small and large is 28 pound there's 11 pitches all in all it's a really small campsite there's a washing up area 
commercial vehicles are allowed. Dogs are welcome. There's a recycling place for normal waste and recycling. Chemical disposable. There is pubs 10 minutes drive away and a motorhome service point. The campsite obviously has some pods available which has a nice view across the fields and a big play area where you can go stretch the dog's legs or play ball or cricket. I mean it's totally up to you. I wouldn't play cricket facing downhill. But I give this campsite a thumbs up. I will be back again. It's got a nice location for Snowdonia and the walks around the forest. Well, I hope you enjoyed the campsite tour. I know there's not very much here, but it is a lovely campsite. The pitches are nice and... <laughs> the pitches are nice. Oh, I love pitch. This is well toasty and warm. I'm a camper. Forgot to say as well, if you need any meat, there's a banging camp shop about 15 minutes away if that and it also sells cells <laughs> it also says breakfast in the morning and the sausage roll was there uh, was banging so I'm thinking of going there for breakfast in the morning uh, hoping on a local walk that the campsite advises you to do so we'll see you in the morning guys morning everyone oh, what a better day today I wouldn't have thought it was bloody blowing at Hooley last night. No Rind and Wayne camping today. So it's time for a shower. See what these bad boys are like. I shall catch you after. See you, bye. Right, so I've rocked up now to Clarecognog Forest and I'm just going to do like a little circular walk just to get out now and stretch those legs off after sitting down. I was wanting to go a bit further than actually planned because I've just been cleaning the van out for three hours. Oh no, it's just lovely today. Sun's beaming. So I made the most of that. Got the back at crib tidied up and re dug out. So, crack on with this walk then, which is looking on that sign there about a kilometre, half a mile, not really far. But I've got a uh, one going as well on the OS map, so I'll see how far we can go with that one. We haven't got long now. Need to start heading off back. <laughs> you hear that tree squeaking? <laughs> Sketchy that. You fall down yet? Oh no, squashed, <laughs> falling tree style. So peaceful out here. It's meant to loads of bears twittering. It's meant to be red squirrels about as well. Wow, 
literally walking right through the forest now. Luckily you can get through this bit. There's that pit back there where I just turned off that other track. But you know when you're thinking it, it's not up there, but it is. And I've just been side swiped, bottom striped and middle striped by a load of Christmas trees. <laughs> oh no. Oh, anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's keep going. I see light at the end of the forest. I've joined back on that uh, kilometre walk now, which is well signed. There's uh, red posts. It's definitely up and downhill. Might not be far, but still be a beast. Especially <laughs> getting back into it again. Right, it's back to the van. Her walk was just short of two miles. Nice brisk walk, done it in just short of half an hour. So it's got a nice, some nice blood going through the legs, which is good. This car park's ace. Got some picnic benches about. A stunning viewpoint. Definitely worth stopping for a coffee if you've not got time to pop out for the walk. So if this video is for you, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. See you, bye. For the night on an uh, on a... Uh. Right, good morning. We are parked at Flint Castle, which is an off-grid location first and then we're going to have a look at a look, a look, a look, a look, a look. good god look at them zigzaggy lines it's like watching a black and white tv from 40 years ago can you see me made oh no it's done my head in whoosh 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 <laughs> behave right back at the van kettles on so the castle, oh, it's not a castle. Sort it out, sauce. It's a hall. It's four times now. <laughs> right, so we're at Cod Wig Clonkagnog National Forest. Oh no, 